Willem Eindhoven was born in Samarang, Java, in the Dutch East Indies, now Indonesia, on 21st May 1860, to Lois Matilda Caroline and Jacob Eindhoven, who was a doctor. Willem, who was the eldest son and third child among six children, lost his father when he was still a child, and thereafter, he returned to the Netherlands with his mother and siblings in 1870. Willem attended the Hogere Burger School in 1885 and went on to earn a medical degree from the University of Utrecht in 1878 in a bid to become a doctor like his father. But then he got a job as an assistant to H. Nalin Sr., an ophthalmologist, in the Gatios Vor or Gliders Hospital. While there, Willem earned his candidate diploma and made his first research. Later on, he got the chance to work closely with the renowned physiologist F.C. Dundas, and there he made his second research, a doctoral thesis, published in 1885. Both pieces of research became widespread, gaining him fame. The following year, in 1886, Willem became a professor at the University of Leiden, having earlier qualified as a general practitioner. Before Willem's time, the heart was set to beat by producing electrical currents, but the instruments used could not measure the heartbeats accurately without the placing of the electrodes directly on the heart. Willem began completing a series of prototypes in 1901 of a string of galvanometers that used a thin filament of conductive wire that passed through every strong electromagnets. The machine he created, which weighed 270 kilograms, required some five people to operate it and water to cool the powerful ele electromagnets. The sensitivity of the galvanometer was decreased by the machine to enable the electrical activity of the heart to be measured. Willem invented a practical way to record the heartbeat which was called the electrocardiograph, popularly known as the ECG or EKG in 1895. After that, he went on to state the features of the electrocardiographic or cardiovascular disorder. Although there were technological improvements to the ECG machine that were more portable and served better, yet the premise of its terminology was set by William. He assigned the various deflection letters P, Q, R, S, and T, which are still used. William, who had a gift of devoting his entire being into a project, now turned his attention to the study of acoustics, focusing particularly on heart sounds, one he researched with Dr. P. Batard. In 1924, he was honored with a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine after his last research was conducted. He was also honored with the naming of the term Enthoven's Triangle after him. Willem was also a sportsman during his days at the university and was president of the Gymnastics and Fencing Union, also being one of the founders of the Utrecht Students Rowing Club. On 29 September 1927, after suffering from an illness, William died in Leiden in the Netherlands and was buried at the Reformed Church's graveyard. The invention of the ECG proved to be a great value for the study of the periphery and sympathetic nerves. The laboratory which he used for his invention at Leiden has become a pilgrimage place that is visited by scientists across the world. He was honored with a Google Doodle on his 159th birthday on May 21, 2009. Thank you very much for watching our videos. We'll appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends. We love you.